So last week I shared with you guys some products that disappointed me and coming kind of hot off the heels of that video, I thought it'd be great to share some products that I really do love, right? Let's spread the positivity and the love. And I thought instead of just doing, you know, products that are really impressing me right now or maybe some monthly favorites, I thought instead it might be actually fun to do like a trip down memory lane. You know, I've been on the skincare journey for a while now, this skincare addiction, if you will. And there are definitely like certain key products that have really just changed my skin for the better. We're talking game changing products. So give this video a big thumbs up because today I want to share with you guys seven products that took my skincare game to a whole nother level. <music> So first up is actually the very first concept from Asian beauty that I ever embraced. And you can maybe even see this as the seeds of my Asian beauty obsession. And that is double cleansing. I think a lot of us come into the Asian beauty sort of like space through double cleansing. Let me just tell you, I was never the girl who went to bed uh, with my makeup on. Like I was very, very good at washing my face morning and nighttime, right? But even so, you know, I realized that I was not taking off all of my makeup, even though I was really trying hard to. You just know that it's your face is not getting very clean when you're drying your face off after washing it and there's makeup stains on the towel. Oh yeah. You know, I tried really hard. I was rubbing and scrubbing. I even got one of those like knockoff Clarisonic devices to scrub the makeup off my face. <laughs> my poor skin, right? And it still wasn't working. I was getting really congested, clogged pores, dull skin, black hats. I knew it was because that makeup was not coming off of my skin. And so of course, like we all do, we go through the Google rabbit hole, right? And we find all these different things to kind of help solve our problem. And one of the things that I kind of kept stumbling across was this whole Korean skincare routine and double cleansing method. And so I tried it. I was like, I'll try anything. And I tried it and this opened up my mind and it rocked my world because all that congestion, all that dullness, all those blackheads started to improve like on week two. Yeah, those are pretty quick results. I could see that my skin was becoming brighter. It was becoming clearer. It was less congested because that junk wasn't sitting in my pores. It was amazing and it was effortless. I didn't have to rub and scrub my poor face. <laughs> so seriously, like, I mean, oil cleansers just rocked my world. We're talking like the Face Shop Rice Bright Light Cleansing Oil. This was my cleansing oil of choice for years. This is so student budget friendly or just like broke girl friendly, like such a good price under $10. It gets the job done. I so love the Hada Labo Goku Jun oil cleanser now. Like this is my go-to cleansing oil. It works just as well as the DHC oil. And I love the Bifesta, a cleansing lotion or cleansing water. This stuff's really good for those really light makeup days or just only sunscreen days. It takes it off so effortlessly and I will never go back. Speaking of cleansers, let's talk about foaming cleansers, particularly low pH foaming cleansers. Once I switched over to low pH cleansers, wowie wow, my mind was blown for a couple of reasons. <laughs> Number one, this is really the first example for me personally where I started to embrace a little bit of science in my skincare. You know what I mean? Learning how my skin works and how that can help us better choose skincare products for our skin and be more informed as consumers, that was huge. Switching over to low pH cleansers, I mean, honestly, for my skin, it meant less breakouts, less pimples. It actually meant that my skin was producing a little bit less oil. I used to be much oilier back in the day, not so much anymore, but it actually helped to, to regulate my sebum production on my skin. I also noticed that my skin was just less like irritable, less irritated, less uh, redness all around, less inflammation on my skin. The product that did 
did this for me was, of course, the low pH good morning cleanser from Casa Rex. Such a classic. Now, a lot of times I say like this was the first low pH K beauty cleanser. That's not exactly true, but I have to put it out there that Casa Rex was the first one to market themselves as low pH. And that was really smart. That was really, really smart. Um, this is such a great affordable cleanser, very gentle on the skin. And I have gone through so many tubes of this cleanser. It just really opened my eyes. Now, I will tell you, I have since graduated on from this cleanser. I've said this before, but I just want to make that clear. Some people find this cleanser to be slightly drying on the skin, even though it's low pH, it can be a little drying for uh, those who don't have as much oil on their skin. And I have since graduated on, my skin type has changed throughout the years, and I'm reaching more for cleansers like the Crave Matcha Hemp Cleanser, as well as the Sol Foaming Cleanser, and I'm starting to test out the Wish Trend Enzyme Cleanser. So anybody challenging themselves to make a list of game-changing skincare products I almost guarantee you that this product is going to be on their list too, and that's pimple patches. Hello, what a game changer. If ever there was one product that embodied the word game changing, pimple patches would be it for so many of us. Let me tell you that pimple patches changed the way that I dealt with blemishes on my skin and it actually really contributed to my ongoing sort of evolving philosophy about how to be kinder to your skin, treating it more gently because I'm gonna admit it, I am a slightly reformed. <laughs> I am a pimple popper. Yeah, I, ooh, if I see that on my face, I just, ooh, oh, I just want it out. I want it out. And it really plays into so much impatience and it plays into so much of my like need to control what's happening on my skin, right? This like, just get it out, get it out. And the thing is, you think you're doing something good in the moment, you're like, just pop the sucker, but you usually end up with it looking worse than when it started. You should have just left it alone. That's what pimple patches have taught me because more than anybody ever saying, oh, don't do that, that's bad, you spread bacteria, whatever, that's never worked. Pimple patches taught me I don't need to go so aggressive on my skin, right? Pimple patches taught me that, yes, if you wanna pop the thing, pop it, throw a pimple patch on it to do the rest of the dirty work. You know what I mean? Like rely on the pimple patches to gently suck the juice out and flatten it and not damage your skin and not leave a gaping wound on your face and not leave hyperpigmentation and scars, right? Pimple patches really changed my thinking slowly but surely. I actually kind of just stopped popping my pimples, you know, because the pimple patches were just doing the work for me. So I've used lots of pimple patches in the past. The very first ones I used were the Next Care ones from Japan. Those are okay. They don't stick very well, in my opinion. I've actually even used blister bandages from the drugstore. It's the same thing, guys. They just come in bigger sizes. You just cut them to the custom size and they work just as effectively, if not sometimes better, uh, because sometimes they're thicker and so they can pull more juice for those really deep suckers. It's a great way to save money if you use a lot of pimple patches. Just buy the blister bandages at the drugstore and cut them to the perfect size. Wear them at night because they're kind of chunky. But the uh, pimple patches that I particularly love and have discovered to work so well for my needs are the Casarex pimple patches as well as the Buy Wish Trend pimple patches. I love both of these because they adhere so well to the skin. Those suckers aren't going anywhere. I love to do my skincare routine over the pimple patch. These do not move if you apply your skincare over the pimple patches. They sit in where you put them really, really well. They last all night long and they drain those suckers without any aggression on the skin. So a skincare ingredient that really was a game changer, positively changing my skin for the better was snail mucin. Yeah, snail has so many amazing benefits, but when I really look back at, you know, the first first time that I ever used snail and why it made such a big impression on me and why it changed my skin so much, it's really got to come down to the fact that snail mucin taught me the importance of hydration. Yeah, you know, you got to remember, I am a Western girl and I grew up with the whole like Clinique three-step skincare routine. You know, even if it wasn't from Clinique, it's all about 
washing your face, right, with a probably high pH cleanser, and then um, using a toner, which is generally astringent and full of alcohol, right, to further strip the skin, and then to put on a light moisturizer, right? That was really the kind of skincare philosophy that I sort of grew up with, and there's not a huge emphasis on hydration. So snail was one of those first products because prior to using like a snail product, I didn't really like have a focus on hydration. And when I put snail onto my face, I was like, my skin feels fat, it feels plump, it feels juicy. I didn't know what choke choke was then, but if I did, that's the word I would have used, <laughs> like choke choke, you know what I mean? Like hydrated, satisfied, healthy. And of course, you know, my skin was dehydrated back then, I just didn't know it. But using snail really started to change the symptoms of dehydration, started to turn that around. So one of the very first snail products that I ever used was the Benton Snail Bee line, really. But of course, Snail Bee Essence was huge for me. I mean, at one point in my, in my skincare routine, I was using the Benton uh, Skin, which is like a toner. I was using the Essence, I was using the lotion, and I was using the steam cream all from the snail bee line. I was the Benton girl. This is how big of an impression snail made on me. So let's talk about chemical exfoliation. You know, I don't talk a lot about chemical exfoliation because it's definitely taken a backseat to some of the other products that I currently use, but let's take a journey back in time because my skin was not always the way that it is today. My skin, uh, uh, like six years ago, was actually incredibly congested. It was really, really, really bad clogged pores. I had some inflamed clogged pores that turned into pimples. My skin was so bumpy, it was so textured. And I had always had some acne, some pimples. Um, I had always had some clogged pores, but there was a big combination, like the perfect storm, so to speak, of different factors that all happened all at the same time to cause this massive congestion on my skin, kind of out of the blue. And I struggled with it for a very long time. And chemical exfoliation, learning about it, learning how to use it properly for what I wanted to achieve with my skin, changed that. It was so affecting me emotionally and mentally. It was not good. And I felt very stuck because I couldn't afford to go to a dermatologist. You know what I mean? So I actually have to credit a lot of me being able to change my skin around to Curology. It's access to an online dermatologist uh, without all of the office fees. They gave me a prescription for azelaic acid and it definitely cleared up my skin. But I cannot deny that a little bit of elbow grease, a little bit of internet researching and self-education were really the key here as well. Learning from other people's experiences, you know, learning from other bloggers' experiences, other experts who are putting out their fabulous information out there for free. These resources are so important to self-teach about how to use these products properly, how to use these products um, in a smart way so that we can benefit our skin and not uh, hurt our skin at the end of the day. And learning the best way and the best products to use for our certain situations because not all chemical exfoliation is created equal. So they're not all going to deliver the same types of benefits. Learning that is huge because you can really guide your skin to the goals that you want to achieve. You can do this because I've done this. And this is actually a really great segue into the next product that I want to talk about because prior to my um, experiences with uh, chemical exfoliation and the next product category, I didn't believe that you could positively change your skin. I did not think that if you wanted to change your skin, that it was even possible. Can you believe that? <laughs> I thought that if you were born with bad skin, oh well, that's just how you were born. Some people are born with great skin, some people are born with bad skin. And if you're born with bad skin, you can cover it up with makeup. Curology and chemical exfoliation and being able to take my skin from terribly congested to clear changed my mind, but another product changed my mind too, and that's sunscreen. There are so many reasons why you should be wearing sunscreen, but let me tell you what changed my mind with sunscreen. So coming into K-Beauty, 
there's a huge emphasis on sun protection, as there should be, right? Um, and that's for uh, many, many reasons. But, you know, I became a K-beauty fan and I was like, I want to look like these amazing Korean actresses and singers who have this fabulous, youthful skin and their secret is sunscreen. I want to wear daily sunscreen too. Prior to that, I had never worn daily sunscreen ever, <laughs> like ever. I never wore sunscreen. And so I was very unhappy with my skin when I started to come into skincare because it was very uneven. It was very dull. My complexion was very sallow and unhealthy looking. And that is why I was driven to wear so much base makeup to kind of fake, right? Healthy and even toned skin. So Definitely the journey with sunscreen is finding one that works, right? A lot of trial and error to find the sunscreen you can tolerate to wear daily. For me, that search ended with Shiseido Senka Anti-Aging Sunscreen. This sunscreen, I wore this for like four years straight. Of course, there's other sunscreens that I've discovered since then that I reached for, but honestly, this was a game changer for me because this allowed me to wear daily sunscreen and tolerate it and have my skin feel comfortable and like it could breathe and not that it was like shriveling and drying up throughout the day, right? Like some sunscreens can make your skin feel so tight and dry. This did not aggravate my dehydration. So I really credit this product as a game changer because not only did it allow me to wear uh, daily sunscreen consistently, like it no longer became an issue. It was not hard, but this product also allowed me to reap the benefits of wearing sunscreen long-term because what do you think happened? my complexion got better. <laughs> my complexion got better because I was protecting it from UV damage. I didn't realize how much UV damage was occurring on my skin. I just thought that was my skin. And so once I started to protect it and shield it, it was, it would basically, I allowed my skin to even itself out. I allowed my complexion to even itself out. The sooner you can start wearing consistent sunscreen, you are going to see the results on your skin and it's going to be marvelous. So I'm sure many of you were expecting for this product to be on the list and this is Stradia Liquid Gold. So let's just get it out there. This product absolutely helped me heal a damaged moisture barrier, but I wanted to include it on this list of game changers because of course, it opened my eyes to the powers of ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids, but it also represents something bigger because it represents how I've changed my philosophy of how I build my skincare routines to this day because I have learned that the barrier is the root of all good skin. And if your barrier is not only healed, but strong and healthy and taken care of, you will be able to achieve your skincare goals. Kind of going through the whole moisture barrier issue and using Stradia Liquid Gold and use, using it because the, the, the data behind it, the, the research behind it, ceramides, cholesterol, and fatty acids in certain ratios will speed up the healing of a damaged moisture barrier. It will fortify and strengthen a moisture barrier and will support a healthy moisture barrier. Not only reading about that and then discovering a product that embodied that research, but also experiencing the fact that it does work was huge. It was a game changer. It opened up my eyes but it also taught me about the importance of the moisture barrier. And it taught me as well, by the way, to not force your skin because the very concept of healing a damaged moisture barrier, you have to be patient. You have to be patient and you have to go through some uncomfortable stuff you don't want to go through, like not exfoliating your skin for over a month and just letting the pimples be and just letting your skin be dull and being congested and being kind of yucky while you heal and just letting it be, right? That's uncomfortable. That's uncomfortable. You got to find the comfort in the discomfort. And that is what that taught me. And it also, you know, it taught me to go with the flow of my skin. It taught me to listen to what my skin is telling me. Don't force your skin. Go with the flow of your skin. Ever since I've embraced the concept of barrier first, right? Skincare goal second, barrier first, health above all else. I've been experiencing the best skin of my life. So it's really interesting how changing your thinking and changing your mindset can actually get you to your skincare goals instead of 
forcing it. And so Straight A Liquid Gold 100% is a product that I recommend for anybody looking to, um, to strengthen their barrier, to heal their barrier. But for me personally, it also represents a change in my mindset, a change in my philosophy that has allowed me to experience healthy skin and better skin. And for that, you know, I, I, I can't thank it enough. A total game changer. So now it's your turn. I want to know what are your skincare game changers? Those products that have made a huge impression on you and have changed your skin for the better. Let me know what those products are in the comment box below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, but you absolutely love Korean skin care, please consider subscribing to my channel. I release two new Korean skincare focus videos every single week. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss those two new videos. I absolutely cannot wait to see you in the next video. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.